Sharma. Hi, Sajid. Uh, great having you with us here in our studios. You know, what do you make of it? The initial indications seem to suggest yeah. that we are we're headed towards an NDA victory, something that the markets have been talking for a yeah. while. Uh, is, is that is that what is probably consensus building as well? You know, I guess the, the, I guess markets were concerned that, like the last two elections, the exit polls would have it wrong, mm. and if in fact you required one of the parties to tie up with a number of smaller regional parties, that could throw a spanner in the works. Mm. Uh, from the trends you suggest, the exit polls are right. You could get a pretty large parliamentary majority here, and if that's true from an economic perspective, all the difficult things that can't be done with more reduced majorities will now be possible. So it does open up uh, you know, a new world here in terms of what can, be, what can be attacked in the next couple of years that didn't seem possible, say, six months ago. When we last spoke, uh, Sajid, <clears throat> you said uh, it is not the case that if, if we have a stable government, all of a sudden we wake up the next morning and all our problems are behind yeah. us. That, that's exactly what the market seems yeah. to be believing, isn't it? Uh, Narendra Modi will come, he'll wave yeah. this magic wand, yeah. everything will be fine. So give us your perspective. You know, we that. need to be patient here. The, the, we're, we're in this uh, sort of era of instant gratification. Mm -hmm. This is not a T20 match, this is a test match. <laughs> we're in the first morning of a test match and a pretty green wicket here. Mm. That market expectations will rise disproportionate to the number of seats the NDA wins. But the economic reality on the ground will not change in proportion to the number of seats the NDA wins. So that disconnect is going to get wider and wider. And we need to be careful here that these things are going to take time. You know, turning around the investment environment uh, is not going to be easy. It's going to be a long, tough slog. It becomes much easier if you have the political will. But let's give the new government time. Let expectations not be too high, or we'll all be quite disappointed in the next three or six months. This is a two, three-year process, not a two-quarter process.